it. You said so yourself. It's in the blood. It's hereditary. You don't think that human beings possess free will? How come I'm not making fucking pots in Peru? You're born to this shit. You are what you are. Someday soon, you're gonna have families of your own. And if you're lucky, you'll remember the little moments. Like this. That were good. Cheers. Are you forsaken? What is right? For what is easy? Allowing what I know is evil in my house. Are all of you Sopranos the same? I asked you nicely to stay out of it. You're pretending you don't hear me. Well, maybe you're gonna hear this. Mind your fucking business. Keep your mouth shut when it comes to my kids. All right? Well, if his father was still alive, you can bet your boots he'd show more decency and respect for his mother. Uh, my brother John was a man among men. He was a saint. Did you lock the door after you? Yeah, I did. You know, somebody called here last night after Jock. Oh. You think I'd answer? It was Jock out. I must have had another son who stole a car when he was 10 years old. You kill him someplace else. You may run North Jersey, but you don't run your Uncle Junior. How many fucking hours did I spend playing catch with you? My father never had to make me the boss of the What the? Keep thinking you know it. People are so far behind in a race that they actually believe they're leading. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. My nephew is seeing a psychiatrist. It makes me want to cry. There's a Zuni saying, for every 20 wrongs a child does, ignore 19. There's an old Italian saying, you fuck up once, you lose two teeth. See? That's what all this is about. Ego and control. Other people's definition to you, sometimes they're more about making themselves feel better. You gotta define yourself. Mom always told me not to let myself be talked down to by losers. She said you can tell everything about a man by the way he treats women. Grandma just called. Started crying and hung up. She needs a purpose in life. Well, your mother is tougher than you think. So what, no fucking ZD now? Hey! hey. Fashion social study? You just reveal your own ignorance. It's only been five days. We didn't get grades yet. I know this is hard for you to believe, but food may not be the answer to every problem. They was acting like a whiny little bitch. Are you in the mafia? Am I in the what? Whatever you want to call it, organized crime. You were all in favor of me going. Your mother doesn't want it. Wow. Listen to Mr. Mob Boss. What did you call me? All this fucking pussy footing around years now? Why don't we just get it all out there? What do you think Dad does for a living? Waste management. Do you know any other garbage men who live in a house like this? Uncle Jack? And why do we call him Uncle when he's not even related? He's in Dad's other family. Fuck him. Is he gonna sit down or not? I may be acting boss while the old man's a guest at a government book. Will somebody tell my bowels because they don't obey? Maybe I should name a successor. He's a nice guy, but he's like the grim fucking reaper. It's like he knows every guy with a fucking cancer cell, and I can't wait to tell you. His family comes before everything else. Everything. Before your wife, and your children, and your mother, and your father. It's a thing of honor. You lay your hand on him, and you're gonna answer to me. If you can quote the rules, you can fucking obey him. You hear me? All due respect, you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one. Every decision you make affects every facet of every other fucking thing. It's too much to deal with, almost. And in the end, you're completely alone with it all. 
Teddy Roosevelt gave an entire speech once with a bullet lodged in his chest. Some things are a matter of duty. That's what being a boss is. You steer the ship the best way you know. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes you hit the rocks. In the meantime, you find your pleasures where you can. What do you hear? What do you say? He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. The guy was an interior decorator. Don't waste another second on that rat fuck, Tom. I'd kill him again if I could. I genuinely don't think there's anything to gain by keeping him around. He sat on one ass cheek the whole way over. <laughs> Only as good as your last envelope. You'll know that. Look, he's gonna be the new boss now. Your name and everything. Give me some bona fortuna. In my thoughts, I use the technique of positive visualization. How come I always feel undermined? This being made ain't working out the way I thought it would. A lot of responsibilities. Fucking A. What did you think? You're only as fucking smart as this week's lines. One false move and you spend your fucking time chasing it instead of making money. He is the boss. He can do what he wants. All due respect, I'm willing to die for a good cause. This is bullshit. I inherited Junior. I don't think you got reason to talk to me this way. I always liked you. Quasimodo predicted all this. Who did what? All these problems, the Middle East, the end of the world. Nostradamus. Quasimodo's the hunchback of Notre Dame. All right. You're late. Well, tomorrow I can be on time. But you'll be stupid forever. Hey, hey, sit down. Sit the fuck down and shut up. I think I'm going to pass. Sorry. Why not? So if you don't pay me back, I ain't gonna be able to hurt you. Out of respect for our friend here, I'm gonna talk nice. I ever hear you raise your hands to my niece again, next time you won't see my face. You understand? You no, know, Tony, I'm getting sick of this holier than thou act, and I'm not the only one. Oh, really? Well, if anybody wants to make a move, most of the guys in this life, there's no fucking honor. Forget your enemies, you can't even depend on your friends. You think I didn't realize what was going on when you come to my house three o'clock in the fucking afternoon telling me you're my friend? That's when I knew I was in trouble, Anthony. That's no joke. Our bite is 86% water. His last blood test, he was 65% vapor. <laughs> No bitch to me. Bet with you, Red. No over it. You're still a partner. You got a problem with us? We are a family. And even in this fucked up day and age, that means something. So we're gonna deal with this as a family, together. No matter how it affects anybody, personal safety-wise, financially-wise, whatever.